The dreaded swing. It's happened to all of us and it may have even preventing you from finishing your project right now. So what's happening and how do we fix it? In this video, we're going to talk about the three common mistakes that are causing you to swing off the wall, as well as actionable steps to overcome those mistakes. And we'll also be talking about the steps you need to take if the swing is inevitable. Sometimes you have to swing to make the move and that's not always a bad thing and it's not always completely preventable. So we'll get to that, but first let's talk about mistake number one. Mistake number one is pretty clear in this route. And I've actually seen this exact mistake made by a ton of climbers on this specific route. Probably the number one reason why you're swinging is because your core isn't engaged. And I'm talking about your abdomens and your lower back. An indication of this on this specific route is that a lot of times people's hips drop down, which actually pulls your entire body away from the wall and creates that swinging motion. Luckily, the fix isn't too challenging and what you need to do is drive your feet into the holds so that you can push your hips towards the wall and that will engage your core. Mistake number two is not engaging your shoulders properly. Now, a lot of times, the reason why we're swinging off is because our shoulders become disengaged, which pulls us away from the wall, similar to our core, and makes us swing out. This means that even if your core is fully engaged, if you don't have your shoulders engaged as well, the likelihood of your swinging is much higher. So to prevent this from being an issue, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your shoulders are engaged by rolling them back as you're climbing. Mistake number three is probably the biggest mistake, yet the easiest mistake to fix. And that's not positioning your feet correctly. So let's check that out on this route right here. Okay, did you see what happened? Besides me swinging off and that was pretty rough on my skin. What happened here was my feet were not positioned appropriately and so I fell off because I didn't have contact on the wall like I needed to. Luckily, this is one of the easiest things to fix and what you need to do is put your feet in the right position. So what is the right position? Well, if your feet are too low, you're gonna swing off. If your feet are too high, you're gonna have a hard time moving. And in this route, there's a nice sweet spot where I was able to put my right foot on. I was able to get the next hold without any swing whatsoever. In fact, I didn't even feel the need of a swing. In addition to placing your feet on holds in the appropriate position, sometimes you're gonna need to do things like flagging. Flagging is most often used when you only have one foothold and you need to change your body position to prevent from swinging. As you can see here, I used back flags to prevent my body from swinging out. So what about those routes when the swing is just inevitable? If you want to finish the route, your feet are going to swing off. It happens and it's okay. The steps for minimizing the swing and helping you finish the route even when those swings are inevitable are pretty simple. Step one is to prevent it as much as possible. What I did was add a small flag. The bigger the flag here would have minimized the swing even more. So if I were to go back and do this route again, I would flag with my foot even higher. Now that we've minimized the swing, it's time to make the move. And this is when the next step comes into hand. So you've made contact with the hold and you're swinging. You're going to engage your shoulders and your core, just like we mentioned in mistakes one and two, and you're gonna pull your body in towards the wall. With your core and shoulders engaged, you're going to make contact with the wall with your foot as quickly as possible. This is going to help prevent you from swinging out too much and will help get you to a point where you can start controlling the swing easier. In this case, that's all I needed. Pro tip for you here, if you're having a hard time engaging your core and engaging your shoulders, engage the next move of the route. What I mean by this is you're going to start moving your feet to where they need to be next. And this can be the case for anything that's causing you to swing out, like those pesky barn doors. So definitely take this pro tip with you to the climbing gym and test it out. Before we do climb of the week though, I want to highlight a comment that I got on my video body tension climbing, how to use it in common mistakes. And the comment is from Hussein Abdul Amir. Loved the video. I was trying really hard today to focus on what you mentioned and it really worked. 
I was doing climbs I had no chance of doing before. Keep it up. Congratulations, Hussein. That is amazing that you're able to finish those routes and I'm so glad these videos have been helpful. Keep up the good work. I just want to share a little bit about this route. I actually ended up flashing it, which is awesome because it includes a lot of movements that I do not like. I tend to struggle with mantles a lot, so it was really exciting to finish this route. And feel free to make note of how sloppy it was because I know it was very sloppily done, but that's okay. I'm not showing you a polished climb. I'm showing you a real climb. I hope you enjoy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out this video next.